Folks, the Baltimore Ravens have placed the non-exclusive franchise tag on their franchise quarterback, Lamar Jackson. What does this mean? Well, initially, the non-exclusive franchise tag is worth around 35 to 38 million dollars. Can't remember the exact number off of the top of my head. However, this does mean that Lamar Jackson can go into free agency and negotiate with other teams, which is absolutely wild in my opinion, because very rarely do we see a player of the caliber of Lamar Jackson be able to even get a chance to talk with teams in a free agency setting. Lamar Jackson is going to get that chance. Now, any team can submit an offer to Lamar Jackson, and Lamar Jackson can agree to sign any offer that a team gives him that isn't the Baltimore Ravens. Then, after that, because the Ravens have placed the non-exclusive franchise tag on Jackson, this means that Baltimore has the chance to match any offer that Lamar Jackson agrees to with another team. If Baltimore opts to not go ahead and match the offer that was given to Jackson, Jackson will be going to that new team he agreed to sign with. However, the team that signs Jackson not only has to pay the contract of their new quarterback, they also have to give the Baltimore Ravens two first round picks, one in this year's upcoming draft and one in next year's upcoming draft. Another important thing to make a note of here is that if a team does not have their original or better draft picks than what they ha had in the past, they will not be able to offer Lamar Jackson a contract. So that already eliminates a handful of teams. And I ran a poll about this and I'm going to get to the results of that poll at the end of this video, but should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers be one of those teams? They fit at least the criteria of having their original draft compensation, the 19th overall pick this year and whatever next year's draft pick is going to be, so they could at least negotiate with Lamar Jackson. I've seen a lot of people say they can't afford Lamar Jackson. Now, that is somewhat true. The Buccaneers would have to jump through an incredible amount of hoops to sign Jackson to a contract. They are still around 44 to $47 million over the cap at this point, even with the releases of Donovan Smith and Leonard Fournette. So they're going to have a lot of work to do just to get cap compliant, let alone even think of the possibility of Lamar Jackson. They would have to give up a lot. And I don't mean in terms of draft capital. Of course, that's going to be a thing. They would have to give up two first round picks, but you got to think about all the players that we that they would potentially have to move on from, not just this year, but in the future as well. That means you're not even going to have a chance to re-sign a guy like a Levante David or some of the other key free agents that they may want to bring back. You've also got to think about the future. Mike Evans' contract is going to be up soon. Devin White's contract is going to be up soon. Some of these other guys that have been really important to the Buccaneers' success, Tristan Wirfs is another big name. There is going to be a tougher road and possibly even some places pretty much impossible to re-sign some of those guys if you do bring in a guy like Jackson. But it is really, really tough to deny that Lamar Jackson is a potential guy that you could bring in. And I'll be honest, just to voice my opinion here, and I know I don't do this very often, I think the Buccaneers should at minimum bring him in for a visit. In my brain, I know. I know it's not possible, right? Or I know it is not logical to bring in Jackson, but how rare is it that you get a legitimate, when he is healthy, top five player in the NFL, not even just at his position, but possibly in the NFL period in the open market. To me, that's already worth two first round picks. If you told me, hey, you could get Lamar Jackson, you've got to give up two first, I would probably do that with not little thought into that. But the biggest issue here is the money, the contract. That is a big issue there because again, the Buccaneers, they have had to pay the piper now, and they might not be in the best contractual situation for Jackson. You've also got to consider Lamar Jackson and his contract demands have been pretty wild throughout this process. He wants a fully guaranteed deal, just like Deshaun Watson with the Browns. Seems like that's not going to be in the cards at this point, but will some team possibly cave? 
I don't know. It's a legitimate possibility. Would the Buccaneers be one of those teams that says, hey, let's ride. Let's just give Lamar the full guaranteed contract. I don't know if that would be the most logical decision as well. But even then, my heart, in even just thinking about it, just instinctually, wants me to say, why not? It's Lamar Jackson. So, I'm personally very conflicted about this. I, I know it's not going to happen, folks, right? I know. But man, this is one of those situations where I genuinely sit there and think, oh, but that'd be so cool if they could, right? That'd be so cool. And who knows? Maybe there's like a 0.0005% chance that it happens. But I mean, man, oh man, it's a rare situation indeed. And I think Lamar, he's, he's the franchise guy. Of course, any team that signs Lamar, be it the Ravens or some other team, you're going to get your guy for the next 10 years if he can stay healthy. Minimum 10 years. He's only 26 years old, man. And I would say at bare minimum, I would expect teams to at least bring him in for a visit. Maybe that team will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I believe they currently have the second best betting odds right now, according to most betting websites. So I don't know. But for the poll, by the way, 772 votes were in there. 57% of the people said that they do want to see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers pursue signing Lamar Jackson at quarterback. Myself, personally, I'd probably just be happy with them at least bringing him in for a visit because I know that pretty much you cannot make the money work. You'd have to give up pretty much half of your team, but it's Lamar Jackson, man. So it is what it is. You know, is it going to happen? No, it's not. You know, it, it isn't, but be really cool if it did. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. You know, this is kind of a different video. I usually don't gush this much about a situation and give my own personal thoughts and opinions on it, but this is such a rare, interesting situation to me that I just thought it would be fun worth talking about. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream, but until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.